How's your daddy? Not good. He's crazy about that ugly dog. Oh, honey, I'm an animal lover, too. But more importantly, I believe in the healing power of God. Mind if I take a stab at this? Yes, ma'am. It certainly couldn't hurt. He's in the den. Hey, what are you here for? You here to get on me because I missed the meeting? No. I came to comfort you. And to remind you how powerful God is. Well, I don't need your sympathy. And I sure don't need you telling me what I ought to know about God. Well, evidently you do or you wouldn't be sitting here all pooty faced just absolutely certain that your pup was going to die. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you believe God loves you? Of course he does. He loves all his children. What's the point? Do you believe he cares for the animals? I don't know. Well, let me tell you what you ought to know about God. God says that he sees even the sparrow fall. God cared about the cattle. Now, is your pup smaller than a sparrow or bigger than a cow? No. Then God cares. He has compassion. And what did Jesus do when he had compassion? He healed the sick. Those were people. Oh, you're making me nuts here. Do you want your dog to die? Of course not. Then, knowing everything I just said, and knowing that God said if we have faith, we do the same things he did or greater things, I'm going to pray that God will heal your pup. And I'm not asking your permission. What's your baby's name? This is Huckleberry. <laughs> Hi, Huckleberry. Huckleberry, I have faith. I have great faith, sweetie. I ain't really sure about your daddy over there. But I have faith. And so I'm going to pray, and we're going to believe that God is going to heal you. So, Father, we are here in the atmosphere of your son. And he said that if two are gathered, and they ask and agree on anything, and we agree that they could have it. And so we agree that Huckleberry is healed in the name of Jesus. And we declare it. You are healed, Huckleberry, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now listen, you remember when Jesus cursed the fig tree? They didn't see anything that night. But the next morning, what happened? Aha! Same thing. You may not see anything tonight, Deacon, but tomorrow morning, you're going to have a brand new pup. And I think your job for the rest of the day is to thank the Lord and to bless His name for His love for you and His healing mercies. And I can't wait to hear about the results. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you in a day or two. What? Two last things. <laughs> you said my dog was ugly. <laughs> you said my God. <laughs> I can laugh, Huckleberry, because you're healed in Jesus' name. Second, and seriously, I need you to think about this. The truth is, God rarely gives us what we want in the package we want it in. More often than not, He gives us what we need in a package sometimes called a foolish thing to confound the wise. Some people even call that package crazy. But think about it. I'll see you in a day or two. Bye, Huck. Hmm. Get well, Huck. Get well, old boy. Thanks, Looks honey. like God answered Reverend Jenkins' prayer. Hey, boy. Dad, <laughs> did you hear what I said? Looks like God answered Reverend Jenkins' prayers. Ah, he probably just had gas. He couldn't pass. Gas? Really, Dad? The vet said he had cancer and was dying, and now you think it's gas. Well, it's possible. Dad, there isn't a baked bean big enough to cause that much distress. Well, you never know. Well, while you sit there and never know, I'm going to tell you something. 
Reverend Jenkins doesn't owe you anything. Not only is she not your pastor yet, you have been really ugly to her. But despite all of that, she came all the way to our house to pray for your dog, Dad. The dog. Honey, I didn't ask her to come. Let me tell you something else, Dad. I haven't been to church in a long time. But if Reverend Jenkins decides to pastor again, I'm going wherever she is. Now, whether it's your church or somebody else's. He needs to change it. Reverend Jenkins. God healed Huckleberry. He was like a brand new dog this morning. Got it good. All the time. Yes, he is. <laughs> it was very nice of you to go over to his house, even if it wasn't your responsibility. Deacon Spires, any time a brother in Christ is in need, it's always the responsibility. I take that back. It's always the privilege to be able to go and help. Not to go, just not an option. Amen. Amen. Come, sit down. Yeah. Thanks. I vote yes. Thank you, Deacon Ragman. But I think Reverend Jenkins knows unless Deacon Hall relents, we won't be able to offer her the position. We can egg his house. Yeah. Oh, wait. I live there, too. My dear, as we said, you may have gotten on our nerves a bit, but you did cause us to do some serious thinking. And we decided that comfortable, it doesn't lead to growth. Ooh, well put, Deacon Raglan. Growth is a much better word than change. Folk get real nervous like when you mention that word change. But I think everybody understands the need for growth. That is true, isn't it? Any living thing, any living organism that's not in the process of growing, by definition, is in the process of dying. You know, I heard that somewhere. Our cells begin to die when we're around 25 or 26. Yeah, I think that, ooh. I think you're right. But here's what we need to remember. The church is a living organism. We are the body of Christ. And we're different in the fact that we were created to continue to grow, to grow in Christ. Growth means change. So how do we grow? Our individual growth, our continuing to be conformed to the image of Christ must always come first. And when that happens, the whole church will function as Christ intended. She's telling the truth. And it's also true that people are longing to see Christ in the church, to see a deep compassion for the hurting. And when they see Christ, they will fill our churches. I vote yes. You are so sweet. So how do we accomplish this? Easy. We keep our eyes on him and on him alone. He's our head, not me. I simply point to him. I vote yes. Can we just fire the naysayer? We. I'm sorry we just can't offer you the job. It has been my joy to spend some time with such special, special people. Wait, what's this? Dog hair, Huckleberry? Yeah, well, he wadded it up and threw it away three times before he finally gave it to me. Deacon Raglan, will you please place this in the official church record book that Deacon Hall said yes? Yes. <laughs> All in agreement? Aye. I vote yes. <laughs> Reverend Jenkins, we would like to kindly invite you to be the pastor of our little church. And I kindly accept. Yes. <laughs>